This shit was not easy for me. It was never easy for me. And it got a little bit easier when I became a real artist. When I became an artist that people took seriously. When I was an influencer, people didn't give a fuck, one fuck about me. I had millions of followers, millions of followers, and I was getting played in my face all the time. To be honest with you, it's just the truth. When you an influencer, you just gotta... It, these brands be thinking that you need them. So they're going to give you the minimum. Or they're just not going to give you shit at all. When these these brands give you... When these brands email you about an offer, you be like, hey, there's so many people come to my page. There's so many people come to my page. You Y'all want to work with me? Y'all want me to promote your shit? That's how much you got to pay me. And I learned the hard way. I did not become a celebrity two years ago like a lot of you motherfuckers. I've been fucking famous since 2014. I have hit my head a lot of times. I have bumped myself a lot of times. Why you girl? I get, I get, I get more brand deals than a lot of a lot of these girls, light skin or dark skin, because I know how to market myself. I know how to get in these places. I know how to talk. I used to I used to sell lap dances. I used to sell lap dances for a fucking living. So of course I know how to sell and brand myself and market myself. This is this. This right here, you can't buy this. This is street experience. Just like Snoop Dogg. He got street experience. Damn, there's so many rappers. Light skin, dark skin, everything. Why the fuck Snoop Dogg is one of the... He gets so much endorsement deals. And he don't got to fucking do nothing. One of that is the brain, baby. It doesn't matter where you come from. You could come from the hood. You could talk how you talk. You could be blood. You could be crib. You could be whatever the fuck you be jacking. If you got this, you're going to take it somewhere. You're going to take it somewhere. And also on top of that, remain humble. Let people know your worth, but be humble while you letting people know your worth. While I show people, yeah, this how much, this how much people I get engagement in my social media. This how know, this how much I know I could bring to your brand. I don't do it like I'm like, yeah, you need me, I need y'all. It's like, all right. Talk to people humble. Oh, and I'm gonna give y'all some tea right now. Right now, right now, I'm gonna let y'all, I'm gonna let y'all influencers know some tea right now. Right now, right now, that's going on. The economy is bad. The economy is bad. If y'all notice, and if y'all go to a lot of artists, fuck influencers. If you go to a lot of artists, a lot of artists are not getting brand deals right now. Brands are broke right now. Brands are broke. So y'all are competing with artists when it comes to getting money. So you want to know something? These brands are going to lowball you. They're not even giving artists fucking deals right now. It's broke. The economy's fucked up right now. Stay down. I stood down for a very long time. Stay down. Stay humble. Know your worth. Know your analytics. Fucking get a printer. Get a printer and fucking every single time that you see your engagement and shit, make sure you print that shit out. So when a fucking brand deal gets into your email, you'll be like, ah, you trying to pay me this, this, and that? Hey, listen, this is how much people I think. I fucking, I fucking drunk this soda today and fucking a, a 2,000 people bought the soda right after. I know what I bring to the table. I bumped myself too hard. And guess what? When I became an influencer, there wasn't a lot of people that was influencing. There was no TikTok. There was no nothing. So it was harder for me to prove myself. A bitch with fucked up teeth, acne on her face. People used to say, dusty braids, ratchet bitch, dirty this, dirty that, dirty this, dirty that, dirty this. To this day, to this day, I cannot talk about topics. I love to talk about topics that's going on in my neighborhood. I love to talk about uh, political topics. And guess what? When I talk about political topics, you know what people tell me? Why is this stripper ass bitch, ghetto ass bitch talking about it? You don't know about nothing. Motherfuckers don't even think I have a fucking education. So when people try to erase that on me, it's like it's not about colorism. It's not about it's not it's I understand the benefits that I do from that I get from colorism, but it's that like you're not gonna strip down that people fucking play me every single day in my face because of where I come from. And where I come from, the hood. I cannot help that I talk like this. I cannot help that I act like this. Don't show. Stop fucking sending me this shit. I cannot help it. This is me. This is th this is me. I tone it down a little. I tone it down a bit. And I tone it down a bit because I'm I'm 31. I'm about to be 32. I'm a whole fucking mother. And I just know that if I, if I don't change my ways, it's going to be slow bucks for me. Like, it is what it is. Another thing. Another thing that I want to make it very fucking clear. Uh, and, and, and you know what? 
what hurts me the most that is just like I was having a fucking peaceful day and I did have conversations with this guy before about I was trying to teach him about race, ethnicity, the difference, the why I feel a certain type of way when you call me this, why I certain type of way. And then there was this one time that people was just bullying the fuck out of me on social media. And I really did feel really nice and I felt very genuine when um he hit me up on, on DM saying like, yo, I do be seeing I be feeling bad because I do be feeling like people be dragging you a lot I, and and please don't let people overwhelm you and, and make you want to commit suicide. You're that bitch. Like is that when he hit me up on DM and said that after we had a whole argument a couple of months ago about something dumb, I that shit really meant a lot to me because I was in a very vulnerable state. And like right now, I feel like I'm in a, a vulnerable space, but I'm a little bit stronger. So it's like, damn, if you know that people drag me about this topic all the time, why did you bring me up as collateral for to, to prove your point? You know, you know my trigger points. Like you literally, you literally mentioned my name. You could have mentioned Brandon Rock. You could have mentioned so many people, but you, you brought my name so I could get dragged down. Because people be playing in your face, just like they played in my face years ago. When I was in your position. What type of shit is that? To fuck with my mental. Yesterday, I was having a great day. Th that shit fucked my whole day off. For what? I didn't do nothing. I didn't bother nobody. And yes, I had to respond because it's like, yo, why are you playing with me like that? What I did to you? Why you did that to me? That shit is fucked up. And it's like, oh, I didn't mean to get you dragged. I didn't this and that. But you know that I get dragged about this topic every single fucking, every single eight months I get dragged about this topic. So you know exactly what you was doing, bringing my name up. I always get dragged about these topics. And then, and then you try to belittle all the work that I have did. I've been putting in work. I didn't put in work two years ago, three years ago, four years ago. I've been putting in work since 2014. I couldn't even get on a summer jam stage in my own city for years. I had two mixtapes out. I couldn't even get a summer jam stage in my own city. Y'all see the glory. Y'all see the after Bodak Yellow glory. Y'all don't see the shit. The shit getting get played in my fucking face all the time. All the time. Y'all see the great, y'all see the, y'all, y'all see the accomplishment. Y'all don't, y'all don't, y'all, 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 y'all didn't realize, damn, like Cardi got her fucking first brand deal in 2016 and she got famous in 2014. You got fucking celebrities getting paid $500,000 a post for Fashion Nova and I'm getting paid $200 a fucking post. Me knowing that I'm bringing in the people. But guess what? I had enough of the shit. I had enough of people bl uh, fucking lowballing me. That's when you gotta know, your, that's when you gotta like show these brands your worth. Even if you're an influencer, if you're a fucking artist, if you're a fucking whatever the fuck you are, show these brands your worth. I learned how to, I, I, I had to learn the business and that's why I get into places because I learned the business. It's this. Just like Snoop Dogg learned it. You got to learn it. Learn your shit. And that's why I'm here. You can accomplish everything. I love fashion. I want to be in the fashion world. What I did. I live, breathe, smell fashion. Playboy, I'm a very sexual person. I know what I can bring to the table. I want an equity deal. Don't give me the fucking money. I'm tired of y'all motherfuckers giving me money up front. I want equity. Everything I put on, the shit go up. If y'all want to talk to me, this how much y'all got to give me. Because I know my shit. But to be honest right now, and I'm letting y'all influencers know this because I was an influencer years ago. Right now, y'all competing with artists because there's no money in brands right now. Brands do not want to pay nothing to nobody. So y'all competing with artists right now. So if y'all feel like y'all going to, if y'all was getting played, y'all going to get played even more. Because these brands, there's no money. It's 2020 fucking four. There's no money. The, the economy is fucked up. Let me y'all know this right now.
Don't see the mask. Wait. So yeah, like that shit, like that shit was just too much. Show it was just too much, and I always and I always acknowledge colorism, and I know the benefits of things. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. My son, 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 my son. What happened, wavy man? What? I wanna get down. You wanna get down? Yes. All right, come, come. Okay. Hold on. Hold up. Then I also wanna, I also wanna uh, uh, address. Uh, I'm, I don't even think I could address it because I got company, honey. I got company. I got company. I got company. Yeah. So another thing too that is just like. Another thing too that is just like, um, itchy. Another thing that is just like a, a, a another topic that is just like, a lot of people keep saying that it's like, damn, why is it that I feel offended that people call me Mexican and stuff because I'm not Mexican, I'm not Mexican. My nationalities, my, my nationalities don't have the same, don't have the same cultures. We speak the same language. We have different la- uh, dialects. We don't eat the same food. We don't eat the same nothing. Call a, Niger- a Nigerian Ghanaian. Call a Haitian, a, a, a Haitian Jamaican. Call a Jamaican a Haitian. Call a, Ga- call, call a Guyanese a Trini. And you tell me how they're going to feel. You tell me how they're going to feel. And not only do y'all and, and 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 stop playing with me, cause y'all know that I'm not Mexican. And not, y'all do that shit for y'all do that shit to to thing to irritate me. And not only do y'all don't call me a Mexican, y'all call me a dirty Mexican. So of course I'm gonna defend myself every single time you guys do it. You're not gonna keep erasing my nationalities. You're not gonna keep erasing how I am. And I first of all, I, I, never in my life growing up did I ever heard anybody call me a fucking Mexican. So it's like how the fuck when, when I was coming up, y'all wasn't calling me that. But now y'all do call me that. So it's like. Yeah, I'm going to say something about it because it's like, that's not my nationality. That's not what I am. Respect my shit. Like, yeah, everybody wants to get their shit respected. Stop doing that. Shit, I wish I, shit, I, wish I was fucking Mexican so I could have the cartel chop your fucking fingers off whenever the fuck I want to. I, honey, if I was Mexican, you know the poor I will fucking be having in Jalisco, honey. You motherfuckers will be chopped up in a motherfucking river. Y'all lucky I ain't Mexican. Yeah. Come on out from yeah, yeah. Put me, put me the cowboy hat right now. Say, put me the cowboy hat right now. Come on, I float. Put it again. Put it again. Put it. Gompa, get le bares es amora. Yeah, gompa, get le bares es amora. Gompa, get le bares es amora. Gompa, get le bares es amora. Hey, baby. <laughs> Compa, que le parece Zamora? Compa, que le parece Zamora? Okay, okay, wait, stop. Stop, stop. Stop. <laughs> You're so cute. You're so freaking cute. I did that. I did that. You broke me. You, you broke me. You broke me. You broke me. But you, 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 you worth it. You, you worth everything. So anything. Um. So anyways, like yeah, like. And I know my fans don't want me to talk about it and everything, but it's like I am just, I just been so tired of this being a debate. And it's like this is why people bring my name up because they know the the type of debate that there's gonna be. I'm so tired of me debating and talking about this shit for fucking years. Every year we have the same discussion, bitch. I'm tired of having this fucking discussion. Every fucking year, I'm tired of having this motherfucking discussion. Every fucking year. Lay it to fucking rest. Whenever y'all want to fucking compare me, compare yourself to your fucking peers. Don't motherfucking compare yourself to motherfucking me, bitch. The fuck? I put in that motherfucking pain for years, honey. The fuck? Honey? Stop the kind. Stop trying to go fucking live on me, bitch. Sorry. What's going on? You can turn off co-hosting. Yes, turn it off. 
She could be getting me mad. The fuck? So, yeah, um, the fuck? So, the fuck? All right, stop putting that. The fuck? Stop putting the hat on me. Stop putting the hat on me. So, yeah, that's just the fuck? Stop putting the hat on me right now. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm glad that I... So I'm glad I said what I had to say. I know I'm going to get dragged down again, but I don't give a fuck. I'm tired of not fucking standing up for myself. I'm tired of y'all fucking bringing my motherfucking name up. Y'all could have bring everybody else, but of course, y'all got to break the brick brim. Tired of it. Leave me the fuck alone. Stop trying to gaslight me. Stop trying to act dense. Stop trying to fucking, uh, trying to twist words. On why, But why do Cardi feel offended? Why, do, why the fuck y'all disturbing me on a motherfucking Wednesday, bitch? The fuck? Hey, you know not to say that. Yeah. Look at my look pretty. Oh, look. Take a picture. Wait. No, don't. Oh, no, I don't like. T take this. Take this one off. Her. So I'm out. I'm out this bitch. Um and yeah. Bye. Baby shark, baby shark. Hey baby shark. Hi, baby shark.